there's a class of perpetrator we call black widows, sometimes black widowers. And these are people who prey on elders, usually, who've lost spouses. Some of them will go to funerals, literally go to funerals, and literally attach themselves, physically attach themselves to the, to the bereaved party. They cold call people that they've met through the obituaries. And they know when to strike, and they know exactly how to strike, and they know who to strike. And all of a sudden they're very vulnerable, and the wrong person comes along at the right time, and they're toast. He simply drove to her house, said, we're going to town, and we're going to fill out these papers. She had no idea what she was filling out. And this was a fairly dangerous perpetrator. Simply took her and caused her to fill out paperwork that would have lost her her property. Something that people don't really realize, it just takes a stroke of a pen and a filing and your stuff's gone. And this guy knew that. She didn't even know what it was that she was doing. And he had her at a place that was going to notarize the signature. The person was alert and called the uh, city police. City police responded and uh, separated the perpetrator from the victim and called me. And uh, I intervened with her and got her safe and brought her home. Our perpetrators are changing. Perpetrators used to sometimes have a sense of shame. Now they're just mad that you've caught them. In 30 years, I've been doing this for 30 years, it's a lot has changed. And in the last uh, three years, yeah, they're bolder. You have a, a combination of a greater sense of entitlement with these folks. They simply feel entitled to the stuff. They're just angry that you caught them. And they're really happy when they don't get punished for it. So they just go do it again. If we handle a case in the county, um, the county has no detectives. They don't exist. Patrol is really slim. These cases just don't get investigated criminally. And so, because they're not investigated, they don't appear on criminal uh, crime stats, and it appears that we have no problem, when in fact we have a huge problem, a very expensive problem, that has just become invisible. It's a shame, it's a shame. This is a beautiful place, and it has all the assets that you'd want in a community, but it does not have law enforcement outside the city limits of Grants Pass. People don't want to live like that. It's the most lawless situation I've ever seen. It'll be a nice place to look at, but it won't be a nice place to live. I'd say that in some ways we're already there. <laughs>